Welcome to a travel edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. We are in the W here in Austin. Hey, Karen. Hi. 1124. I'm going to come around because the light is... Yeah, welcome to suite 1124. You're on the lights on your back, so I'm just going to do it back here yeah. so I can well, see you. You also need to show this has an incredible view of the lake out there, and that is Lady Bird Lake, named after uh, the president's uh, uh, wife, Lady Bird Johnson. Lady Bird Johnson. So it's beautiful. Um, this is, we were upgraded to a beautiful suite, so I want to do a shout out to the front desk for recognizing our status um, as a lifetime titanium elite members and they did upgrade us to one of their beautiful suites yeah and it's been it's been a great stay i was just going to say i'm going out this way we're we're checking out as we always yes. do when you see the garbage full of exactly. empty wine bottles and things it's right. uh we've been here <laughs> so i want to let you know when we walked into the room it was immaculate everything is so clean and fresh they have all of the clickers for the television sets in plastic which i really appreciate even the windows here look like they were just cleaned um, to give us this gorgeous view. But I love this W. It is super chic, um, modern. It's got a definitely an Austin, Texas feel. And it's just, it's, it, it has a very cool modern vibe. Yeah. And oh, Jeffrey, those are really cool too. And I'll show you, there's one in the bedroom. They yeah, they, they kind of go out, it's like these big, concrete pillars going up through the whole hotel which exactly. is exactly and it's um it's a great bathroom um and again lots of views so you don't want to walk around here without your clothes on or you're going to be looking um at somebody so pulls um, a pool of the next door neighbors down there but yeah this is kind of nice great here. big bathtub jeffrey and i took a bath together we always appreciate a huge tub there's a shower they do give you two robes um and then we got the kick out of that, the, uh, um, the backup plan. Jeffrey and I got such a hoot on the backup plan. That's the toilet paper roll. That yeah, is. that's good. Everybody needs a backup Everyone plan. Everyone needs a backup plan. And I love when the bedroom is separate in a suite. It it's just makes it feel like you're at home. And again, so a really comfortable bed. Um, yeah, gosh, it was great. So comfortable closet and then there's a nice little vanity over there which was awesome um, but again this incredible view and there's a view of the pool down here as well as the spa pool um oh yeah that's which is over down. that way and they do have a spa here it's called um away. away and i was fortunate enough to go visit that and have a beautiful manicure and pedicure with pam which was just so relaxing and she was really really lovely to chat with so um cleanliness was a 10 the bed was a 10 um the vibe of the hotel is a 10 and the people who work here are just so knowledgeable if you want to go to a, a vegan restaurant or whatever it is they have the information on everything that's going on around here and that was really refreshing to be able to get that help. yeah and we give uh austin very high marks for um vegan options lots of great vegan restaurants we had lots to choose from here and uh yeah. you know when we're on the road like this we don't go out uh as much obviously this was kind of a different stop we had a couple nights here we did go out uh we hit a couple really cool places we did yeah and jeffrey i don't know if they can see these tents but you know i think we'd be remiss if we didn't mention what's going on here in austin i don't know if you can see them um, down there on the corner i'm going to zoom in that's a uh, city hall down there there's tents surrounding the city there's some kind of protest going on i guess that they are moving um people that are living in tents along the river they're moving them out of the area so Lots of people have come in and set up tents. It's like a protest. It is. And so I see both sides of the coin. I don't even want to talk about it, you know, from a political standpoint. Well, it has nothing to do with the hotel, um, really. It has nothing to do with the hotel. But in reading some reviews, I noticed that a lot of people had mentioned, boy, Austin really needs to clean up their act. I had no idea what they were talking about. And now I understand what they're saying is, 
it is very hard to walk down the street without, you know, being, seeing tents everywhere. I didn't feel any harm or threatened by any of these people. I mean, they were really harmless. I think, you know, one of the issues is that, you know, we did drive by and someone was like out of their tent getting sick. Um, I have also heard that there are um, an abundance of needles, et cetera, down by the waterfront. So that area has become somewhat um, infested with, you know, trash and garb. And so it's creating some issues for the city and it'll be interesting to see how they deal with it. But if you read reviews on Austin and you see they need to clean up the, their act, that's what people are. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, there are, there are quite a few tents up and down the river. Um, yes. You know, we do a lot of these walks sit across the bridge and the river. There's a bridge over there. There's one down the, the, the road. So we did some long walks uh, to go to some of these restaurants and some of these areas. I mean, it's a great walk around city. But, oh, yeah. uh, yes, you do run into a lot of those tents on the river. I think it's you good do. to know. Yeah. I didn't, you know, we didn't feel uh, unsafe at all. And I, I do want to say location-wise, the W is a 10 plus plus. Um, we were able to walk everywhere that we wanted to. Um, and parking can be kind of difficult in this city. I think it's also expensive. Um, so if you can stay somewhere that's convenient and you can just walk to wherever you want to go, I think that's the way to go. But I love this sofa. I just think this is so spectacular. So, so you want to go through, so for location on a scale of one to five? Uh, on a scale of one to five, I give it a, a, a 10. I mean, it, the location is really great. Is outstanding. Um, on a scale of one to five for the hotel itself, it's, it's got a cool vibe. I would definitely stay here again, and I would definitely recommend staying here. It's the W Austin. Um, I give it a five. On cleanliness, I have to give it a five. It was really, really clean when we walked in. Again, please note, Jeffrey and I have been here for a few days and everything that is around here uh, that's not clean is because of our stay. And um, on the staff, outstanding, you know, five on a, on a one to five, five plus. And I put this above, you know, we did a lot of Hyatt places. We stay at a, a lot of Ritz Carlton's. This is somewhere, um, I don't compare it to a Ritz Carlton because it's got a funkier, more fun vibe. Um, and, you know, the suites are lovely, um, but it's a different kind of a stay. It's kind of between, you know, a luxury, it, you know, it does have the spa. It's between a luxury hotel and um, a really hip, cool. Uh, hotel with an awesome bar, I might add, downstairs, and they had live music that was amazing last night. So if you're in Austin and you're not sure where to stay, I would highly recommend staying at the W Austin. We loved it and we will be back. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from the W at Austin, Texas. One more look at this river in Lady Bird Lake, and we're hitting the road, heading towards St. Louis. We'll stay somewhere between here and St. Louis. I think somewhere in Arkansas, I believe, if we get that, go that way. So uh, stay tuned. See ya.